it's Melissa from All the Book Love coming to you with a book haul video. I bought quite a few books at the beginning of June. It was my birthday week and I kind of found some new used bookstores and spent a little bit too much money. But that's alright because I have lots of new books to show you. So I'll start with the first deck. I read the Hollow series by Kim Harrison in high school. I read only a few of them. There's way more now and so I decided to go out and buy as many as I could and the used bookstore I found happened to have seven of them. I didn't buy all the ones they had because I only wanted to buy them used because I was being cheap. But hey, here we go. Got the good, the bad, and the undead. Every which way but dead. A Fistful of Charms. Black Magic Sanction, Pale Demon, The Undead Pool, and The Witch with No Name. I believe there's 13 books in this series, at least along with a graphic novel that I already own, so I'm looking forward to getting the rest of the series and rereading the ones I read in high school and reading the rest of the series finally. Alright, second stack of books. I bought Romeo and Juliet, which is a tie-in with the movie, so I'm looking forward to seeing how that works out, and I also collect Shakespeare books, so I'm really excited about finding this book. 1984 by George Orwell, because for some odd reason, I didn't own this book. So when I saw it at the used bookstore, I was like, I have to go buy that right now, because it's amazing. Let's be honest, it is. The next book I got was to complete a series by Margaret Peter Peterson Haddix. I got Among the Imposters. And I also got The Prophet of Yonwood by Jean Duprow, also to complete a series. The next was Rick Riordan's The Serpent Shadow, yet again to complete a series. And I found it for less than a dollar at the Goodwill, so I had to pick it up. Next book I found was Powerless by Tara Lynn Child. I read a few of her other books, including Oh My Gods, and I loved it. So I don't really even know much about the book, other than it's got something to do with powers. And that was pretty much good enough for me to go ahead and buy it. Then I am slowly but surely getting to read Cassandra Clare's books. So I picked up a couple of the ones out of the series that I don't already own, including City of Heavenly Fire, Clockwork Prince and Clockwork Princess. I've only read like this much of City of Bones but I've seen the movie and I know it's not supposed to be anything like the books but I enjoyed the movie and I've enjoyed the part of the book I've read so far so hopefully this summer I get to read the Mortal Instruments series and the Infernal Devices. Third stack because you know I have a lot of stacks. First two are Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children and Hollow City, which is the second novel in the series by Ransom Riggs. These have been all over booktube and I saw the trailer, oh, the trailer the other day in the movies and it looks amazing and I am super excited to see the movie. I didn't really know anything about the books. I own them for my classroom but I hadn't read them because they just look really cool, let's be honest. But I've had read a few reviews on them and seen a few videos about them on booktube and I'm super excited to read these books. I had to run out and buy them ASAP. The next book is The Cemetery Boys by Zach Brewer and it happens to be autographed which I was super happy to find in a little bitty bookstore and I found Book Scavenger by Jennifer Chambliss Bertram and it looked very familiar to me. I'm not really sure why and it also looks really cool and that was really my only, only motivation for buying it so I'm excited to read this and hopefully the book is as cool as the cover. The next were because I kind of collect a couple different series and basically saw this one for like a dollar and had to buy it. It's called Hans Brinker by Mary Mabe Stodge and it's part of the Great Illustrated Classics. I have about, I can see them over there, I have about 20 of these and I'm just slowly collecting them all. It's great classics, illustrated, they're easy to read. I read a lot of these when I was younger. My parents had a bunch. I got to take some of them with me when I moved out, and so I've been slowly replacing and fulfilling the rest of the series. The next is my other Guilty Pleasure series that I collect, and it's Animorphs. I read these when I was like, I don't know, elementary, middle school-ish. Loved them. Like one of my first real introductions into sci-fi. They were great, and so I've been really slowly collecting them. Anytime I see them at used bookstores at Goodwill, I keep a list of which ones I already own in my purse. 
and so I just pulled it out and I happened to find several that I were I was missing at two different used bookstores like that. Number seven, The Stranger. Number nine, The Secret. Number ten, The Android. Number fifteen, The Escape. Number sixteen, The Warning. And then number two and three of the Andalite Chronicles. I'm hoping once I finally have the entire series that I can reread them. I reread a few of them a couple of years ago and liked them just as much as I did when I was in elementary middle school and I'm excited to read the rest of the series. I also picked up about 10 or 15 more books from my classroom because of course why not. I found a bunch at the Goodwill which it's 15 cents per every inch of books and they measure them like this. So I got like 10 books for less than a dollar. It was awesome. I was like, this is the best thing ever. Only bad part of that is that it's really hard to find books at the Goodwill Outlet because they're all dumped in this gigantic container mixed in with all kinds of other stuff. Alright, so that's my book haul for the beginning of June. I'm hoping that I don't spend a lot of more money on books for the rest of June, July, whatever, because I've already spent way too much money. As always, thanks for watching. Bye!